One of the busiest holiday weekends for the great outdoors and during the pandemic, people are escaping to the wilderness to try to socially distance and celebrate the 4th of July. The only problem is more people means more trash. And as Jenna Rowe found out, somebody has to pick it all up. After a busy holiday weekend, when people have all gone home, it's their trash that's left behind. You have a lot of folks who are leaving behind uh, what they don't want to bring home with them. Marshall yeah, Alford Marshall. is a ranger for the U.S. Forest Service. So we've got, you know, your standard fair beer cans. For him, the Monday after the 4th of July is usually spent cleaning up other people's mess. People are assuming that there's going to be somebody that's going to come and pick up their trash for them. This is not why he signed up to be a ranger. His time is better spent. When we roll into a site and we have a project planned um, and we end up picking up trash, we might have less of an accomplishment. Trail maintenance and restoration is what he should be doing, but instead... The smaller the trash, the more time-consuming the pickup. He's fishing out beer cans out of the runoff in Bountiful's Ward Canyon. Get into the water flow and everything pretty easy. Bottles, cans, wrappers, this is the least of it. We found all sorts of things ranging from furniture and couches, TVs. But leaving it here is a danger to wildlife. We would prefer that we didn't have to do that. Marshall would like to get back to his day job and leave the mess for those who made it. We want folks to come to the forest and enjoy it. But today, he's taking one for the team. If we can ask for everyone's help in making sure that that place is clean, I think that that's going to go a long ways. In Ward Canyon, Jenna Rowe, 2 News.